What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, my name is Marco Delia and today I want to speak about fragrances. This is my second channel in which I talk about fragrances and beauty care, but if you want to check out my personal YouTube channel, I'll leave it down in the description where I talk about myself and my journey to success, documenting my progress and growth. But today I want to share with you my top 10 most complimented fragrances of 2022, so for this year. All the links of these fragrances will be linked down in the description below. There will be affiliate links, so you can help me out also if you check them out through that link. It won't cost you anything, but it will help me a lot. So let's start. Number 10, I have Prada Lom. This fragrance is perfect for the office. It's the one fragrance that I think it will suit well. Kind of a Christian Grey type of a guy, so mysterious because it has iris, but seductive in a white shirt, elegant, but at the same time he knows what it wants, so very confident. It's metallic, it's floral, but it's fresh, it's perfect for a clean daytime in the office, and I receive very good compliments if I wear it during daytime. During nighttime, I never had compliments with this, simply because it's too fresh, it's too clean, the performance is not the best, it's not suitable for nighttime so other fragrances will win upon this so just use it for daytime and it will be very very surprising number nine spot i have versace eros this is a fake version because it was a test guys don't buy testers online don't buy from people that actually say that they sell testers for less this was a test and it's fake so don't just trust them buy from Amazon or other sources from Notino or whatever or just go to the Sephora or to the store around you and buy it from there. But online be careful because the fake market is huge. Anyway, the real version of Versace Eros is perfect actually for nighttime. So it's the opposite of Prada Lom. It has mint, it has sweetness, it has apple. So it has all this seductive freshness that also makes it spicy and very strong in performance during nighttime. It creates a bubble around you of mintiness and playfulness. It's perfect also for teenagers. That is very strong. So I think that people complimented me a lot on this mostly because of the performance, because people can smell it. But I also smell it a lot on other guys, so it's maybe one of the most in use. This one, the more most known, but he gave me compliments. It's Versace Eros. The next one is a fragrance that I still don't have the full bottle because it has to arrive, but I had the small tester and it is called Black Sea by Lorenzo Pazzaglia. It's pretty similar to Mega Mare by Orto Parisi. It's very evocative, it smells like the sea, it smells like salt, it smells very ozonic, deep, blue, fresh, at the same time very dark. I love it, not so many people love it, but when you wear it, people will notice you and that's why I received a lot of compliments. I. Um, I received it at the Exans. If you want to check out the vlog, I'll link in the description, the International Expo of Fragrances, where I met also Jeremy Fragrance and also all the other YouTubers like Demi Rolik from Mental. I met them all there. And Lorenzo in person, he's the nose and also the creator of the brand, gave me the fragrances to try. And once I tried that one, I received a lot of compliments from everybody around me. Every time that I wore it, I received compliments. So actually I decided to insert it in the top 10. I hope to collaborate with them one day. Uh, right now they're sending me the full bottle of that and another fragrance, but I still have to receive it. Can't wait to test it out more. But let me tell you, I think it's very very promising. On the number seven, I have, uh, oh my God, <laughs> I have this one, which is still another kind of a clone, but essentially it is eccentric molecule O1. Why does it matter if you have a clone of that? Because it's just made from one single note, one single chemical component called ISO E Super which is something that actually helps to make the notes stick together inside a fragrance and make it perform better. It smells ambery, musky, and a little woody, but it really depends on the skin which you wear it upon. So it's very nice, it's very masculine if a man wears it, but it really changes depending on the skin. It smells like skin, wet skin, and it's very seductive. Every time that I wear it, I receive a compliment, and I also really enjoy the scent of it. Performance is nice, of course. Oh, and it's very good. 
On the number six, I have another surprising fragrance. This is called Razazila Yukawam. This is mostly suitable for winter and fall time. So it's not the best one in the summer and spring option right right now but imagine a Tuscan leather by Tom Ford so very leathery very fruity but very masculine and also with a hint of tobacco I actually don't know if it has tobacco inside but that is the kind of vibe but this one has a little bit more raspberry inside so it's pretty pretty sweet at the same time people will smell you a lot and i think that's why i received a lot of compliments because it's pretty different from all the other fragrances that you smell around and it's very strong so when people notice me with this fragrance they always notice it because it's so strong the performance are great the sillage is great so they notice me once they notice it it's also unique and different so they sometimes give me compliments with this and now we have the top five the number five is Dior Sauvage this was one of the most complimented fragrances ever and why it is not one of the main ones simply because too many people starts to have this one the problem with these fragrances like Paco Rabanne 1 million Dior uh, Sauvage and Terre d'Hermes they are great fragrances people buy it and that's the problem too many people are just going to buy it because of Johnny Depp or the great marketing around it so yes it smells great when people smell you will smell you great but the fact is you are not going to smell unique and a great thing about a fragrance is that you smell unique you have and you express your own character and charisma with a scent so this is great but I still receive compliments but most of the time people instead of give me giving me compliments with this it's just oh you were your Sauvage that's great so I don't know if it's a compliment number four this is a beast Arabian Stonka by Montale I actually discovered this fragrance, I think, before anyone else on YouTube. So if you check out my personal YouTube channel, uh, a few months right after it was released, I made a video about it and it, it actually got some views on my YouTube channel, on the first one. And so I was the one to discover this. This is a beast. This is a sugary, sweet, oriental horse, dark horse that has 10 out of 10 performance. It's perfect for nighttime, it's perfect for people that want to, smell, uh, want to smell different. It's unique, but it's very seductive. I don't know if it's for everyone. So try it out before buying it, blind buy. And now the three winners for this time. On the number three spot, we have the bomb, Spice Bomb, Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb. This is a grenade of spices. This is super sexy, per sexy, perfect for winter time. This is my best winter fragrance. It's a commercial one, so you can find it in the Sephora store. It's kind of expensive, but not too much. This is the extreme version. Don't pick the other versions because they are not good. This has really good performance, and every time I wear it, I receive compliments. It has vanilla, it has tobacco, all these incredible creamy notes that are very seductive, and it's very spicy. But it's it's very noticeable, performance is great, and it can actually pierce through the cold winter uh, and everybody will smell you. Number two, it is Office for Men by Fragrance One. This is a good fragrance. Just a very well balanced, good performing, good smelling, fresh, clean, sexy fragrance. If I had to wear one fragrance, I don't know if it would be this one because I prefer something more unique. This is not super unique, but it wasn't meant to be unique. It is meant to be good performing. It is meant to be perfect for the office. So the best office fragrance. And actually for compliments for the office is a 10 out of 10. For the performance is a 10 out of 10. And the scent, it's very likable. It's very mass appealing without being too commercial. Uh, it doesn't smell like niche, but it doesn't smell like all the other fragrances you find uh, in Sephora. So that's pretty, pretty good. See, I have a lot of bottles with this fragrance. Uh, Jeremy gave me the bottles um, a couple of years ago when he started the uh, Fragrance One brand. And I think for of all the fragrances that he released, this is still the best one. I received very crazy compliments with this. I still, uh, guys, let me tell you, I don't know why, but there were like people 
going around me and saying, oh my God, can I smell you again? And they were like, just walking around me. I actually said to Jeremy once I met him that this is my most complimented fragrance, but it actually wasn't so true at the moment because for one or two compliments, the best one so far, it is this one. Desert Suave Liquid Imaginaire. This is a gem. This is a desert gem. This is the treasure of the pyramids. This is the adventure to find your destiny through the sense of a very warm and sweet desert inside an oasis. It smells like dates, it smells sugary, but in an oriental way, not in a gourmand way. And I don't know why people gave me so many compliments with this. Maybe it suits my style. Maybe it's because it's very easy to smell or maybe because it is very different. All the Liquid Imaginaire are so good. I really love the brand. I actually didn't put too much hope with this. I received it because I, want to, I wanted to exchange another fragrance with another fragrance with one guy and he gave me this one because he didn't like it. So try it out before buying it. I actually don't love this scent so much, if I had to be honest, but people around me love it. They told me things like, it smells like a luxury, expensive vacation, kind of an exotic oil for your skin when you give massage. So it's, I don't know, I don't know, it, it, it just works. So that's it guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what is your best fragrance, what is your most complimented fragrance. Subscribe to the channel if you want to support me and I'll see you in the next videos. Peace.